for joining us today for our first Facebook Live. My name is Stephanie Anderson and this is Charles Hayden and we are with the Heating and Air Conditioning Contractors Association. And we're here today to tell you about our wonderful HVAC apprentice program that we offer in conjunction with Carroll Community College. We're really excited to be here. This is my first book, first Facebook Live. Chance, have you ever done this before? I have Charles? never done this before. So we're new to this, so you have to be a little patient with us. And um, I, I threatened Charles that I might start with an air conditioning joke just to um, get everyone excited for what we have to say. So um, I'm gonna go for it. How are computers and air conditioners alike? Both stop working once you open windows. But um, all right, anyway. Um, so we're here today to tell you about this great program that we have um, with Carroll Community College. So why consider our program? Well, because our program is the best. Um, we have been running our program since 1996, and we have trained hundreds of technicians that are now out there working in your field. Charles, you want to tell maybe a little bit more about the program? So yeah, we offer a four-year apprentice program where you take classes at the college here, uh, Carroll. You work full time for an HVAC contractor, like myself. Um, this program, thank you. Uh, this program, where my company comes for its training, uh, we put apprentices in on a regular basis. We also, our members, 85% of our members uh, come here as well. So our training is for the HVAC contractors. We're all part of it. And I'm sure you're also wondering why should our program interest you? Not just because you get to come and train with Charles and with us and at the college, um, but according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they're expecting that our, the demand in our industry is gonna grow 15% by the year 2026. So that means there is going to be a serious demand for qualified technicians. So why not make the choice now to be one of those qualified technicians and to set yourself in a position to, to get a great career? Great, Stephanie. <laughs> but what's really in it? What's really in it is when you graduate our program, on average is forty to fifty thousand dollars in your salary. Once you have your journeyman license and you've been in the field for a few years, it's not unheard of to be seventy-five to eighty thousand dollars a year as a technician. And that's and that's where you want to be. So I know Charles enjoys his position and getting to get all his toys. I have a few toys. He I has have Harleys, I have Corvettes. And all from, from having the opportunity to, um, you know, Charles put his time in, he works hard at what he does, but he's successful at it and it's awesome. I think that's what everyone wants is that opportunity. Um, so hopefully there's still a few of you out there listening, maybe having some interest in us and our program. So um, just to give you some basic, the program is a four year program. You take classes here at the college two nights a week um, and they run from six to nine and that starts in September for the year and runs through April. Uh, by the second year, you're required to be working for a full time full time for a contractor, and that's where you're going to learn your on the job training hours. You're required to earn eight thousand on the job training hours, and that equals four full years of working in the trade. Um, I thought maybe Charles, since you're actually an instructor in the program, maybe you could talk a little bit about what the students learn in each of the years. Okay, so your first year, students will primarily be in the classroom. In the fourth year, you'll be in the primarily in the classroom. While the second and third year students, they'll go to the lab. Uh, they split the lab 50-50 between actual hands-on versus in the classroom. Um, first year is gonna be handling tools, learning to handle <coughs> tools, gonna to learn basic electricity, basic math, um, something to get you involved into it. And the second year, second and third year, students are gonna learn how to solder, they're gonna learn how to use wiring diagrams, they're gonna have learn how to do circuits, they're going to learn how to make the circuits operate. Uh, they're going to learn refrigeration, they're going to learn heat pumps, they're going to learn uh, air conditioning as well. Boilers, refrigerators, and so <laughs> forth. All right, in the fourth year, which is the year that I do, I'm very comfortable with, um, you'll learn diet, wiring diagrams, heat loss, load calculations, how to set a house, uh, HVAC for the house, you're going to learn how to read the blueprints and you're going to learn the international mechanical code and some of the electrical code as well. Very cool. I didn't understand half of what he said, but that's okay. I don't have to, which is good. Um, that's why we train people like you to be able to do that and hire Charles to teach. Um, 
definitely sounds like there's a lot to learn in the program. So now you may be asking, okay, you've gone through our program, you've earned your journeyman license, now what? What kind of a career does this look like? Well, there's totally um, lots of options in the HVAC field. So we have our technicians who are working in our residential and commercial properties who are you know, the first people out there working on equipment. We have business owners who are assessing the market and running shops and running the businesses and hiring these technicians. We have designers who are working to design the systems and duct, duct work. We have salespeople who are going into homes and meeting with customers and they're trying to figure out what the customer needs and how to make the house more comfortable. We have auditors who will actually go in and test you know, um, all the air circulation to make sure that you're getting the best airflow in your home. And then we have engineers who are working to make sure that products are built to perform in the correct way. So there's many avenues in HVAC. And one of the best things about our program and our partnership with Carroll Community College is that once you complete our program, all of our students earn 24 credits towards your AA degree. So this could just be the start of your learning experience. You know, we are firm believers in learning and continuing to take classes and educating yourself in the industry and staying relevant. So um, that is all I have to say about that. If you want to give them some information on applications. I do. If, you want, if you're interested in an application, uh, they're currently available on our website. Uh, website is www.haccmd.org. Um, they are due by August 17th, so please feel free to contact us at 410-431-8889. And thanks so much for um, watching us, and we hope to hear from you soon. Where's the start over button? <laughs>